is a source of guidance. When it comes to the Old Testament, what led, me, what led me down my road in the Old Testament was the stories of the prophets. Because in my mind growing up, what I knew of Christianity, that the prophets were the best of people. They had to be. These were God's prophets. God chose them to guide humanity to His righteous way of life. Therefore, the default ideology of myself was that Noah was the best because he saved humanity from the flood. He's the one who preached for almost a thousand years and no one believed in him. Very few people believed in him. I believe that, 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 that um, David was, was one of the greatest patriarchs. He's the one who slayed Goliath. Beautiful example. Solomon. King Solomon was one of the greatest kings that Israel ever had. One of the greatest prophets. You know, etc, etc, etc. But when you read the Bible, you will find out that this is not the case in point. For instance, the book of... Uh, uh, in, in no, uh, the story of Noah, Nuh alayhi salam, we know that he preached for almost a thousand years and no one listened to him. The Bible says about 900, 1000 minus 50, but numbers, you can't go off of numbers in the, in, the, in the Bible, they switch up too many times. And that Noah was the one who saved, that, that <clears throat> Noah was the one who saved humanity from destruction that believed in him because of the flood that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was going to send to destroy, Christi uh, to, to destroy humanity. Because we also know as Muslims it is part of our understandings that between Adam alayhi salam and Nuh alayhi salam, they were just Muslims. Everyone believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first deviation from Tawheed came in the people of Nuh alayhi salam in the Fijis. And the old English, which is coming from the Anglo-Saxon, which this word is still used here in the UK that we don't use in the States, Noah is described in the Old Testament as a drunkard. This is the wording. Noah was a drunkard, an alcoholic. And this did not, this did not fit with me. Uh, th this does not make sense. That Noah was a drunkard. And, and, and a lot of the reference points, I have them all here in my notes, but you know, these studies I've done the past 10 years. But this is also homework that I want you to do. And a lot of times I won't even give Christian, Christians my reference point. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell them the story and tell them that it exists in their Bible, but I make them go find it. They'll be like, well, you can't tell us the reference point? I'm like, no, you can find it. It's there. Make them go find it for themselves because what you read with your own two eyes is always better than what you hear with your own two ears. So, I, you know, this is part of my telling you the understanding of the psychology rather than just quoting and quoting and quoting. Because if I quote, then they go and quote from me. Now their isnad is destroyed. You see what I'm saying? It, there's a Muslim in the middle and he's not credible. But when they read for themselves, they become their own isnad. They become their own chain of narration. And that's what I want you to do. Don't take it from me. I'm nobody. I'm definitely nobody. Uh, just giving you the, the evidence. So write the notes down and then go do the search for yourself. Don't spend too much time in that Bible, man. It'll give you a headache. Um, but you can look for these stories. Noah was considered a drunkard, an alcoholic. And now, to me, this is a problem. How can God's prophet be an alcoholic? And you know, actually what I said to myself, kind of funny, kind of jokingly, was I said to myself, because I've seen the effects of alcoholism on someone very close to me in my life. Destroyed someone very near and dear to me. And I know that now as a student of psychology focusing on mental illnesses, that um, alcoholism is a mental illness. It is a mental disease and defect. Not legally, because you put yourself into that. So legally, you cannot write it off as a mental illness. You can't get... Uh, what they say benefits for mental illness because you did it to yourself but it is a mental defect um, and it is a mental addiction and it is something that that uh, uh, keeps one from having a normal productive life in society and actually alcoholism leads to a lot of the major ills of the world uh, alcoholism leads to uh, um, cancer uh, leads to liver failure leads to many 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 physical ailments um, it leads to death it leads to homelessness. It leads to people not being able to hold down a good job. It leads to people um, abusing their families. It leads to breakup of homes. It leads to for the husband to abuse the wife, for the wife to abuse the husband, or for the parents to abuse the children. Uh, it leads for one to end up as a, uh, uh, a criminal in society. It leads one to jail. It leads people to commit murders. It leads people to kill people on the streets from driving like this. So there's many ills in society that string from this, this, this alcohol. So I said to myself, if Noah was an alcoholic, then no wonder no one listened to Noah.
No wonder nobody listened to Noah. He was a drunkard, man. The drunkard that walks the streets and drinks all day long, if he was to stand up on a park bench the next day and tell you that he's God's prophet, that God sent him to tell humanity that they were going to be destroyed with a flood and that if you don't get into this, this boat that I'm going to build in London Stadium, uh, then you're all going to be destroyed. How many of you are getting on the boat? How many of you even think that he's going to build the boat? And if he does build the boat, none of us are getting on it. He'll be on the news like being broadcast as the craziest idiot lunatic that's ever existed in London. But he definitely won't be looked at as God's prophet. And he's not credible. So this is why I said maybe this is why no one listened to Noah. But I continued to read. And when I got to the story of Lot, I was shocked once again. Lut alayhi salam. The story of Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah is a famous one. That, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for their iniquities. And if any of you want to do this research, let me give you the, um, the easy way to do it. Just Google it. All of you know the internet, you know Google. Uh, I don't like to give Google too much fame because they don't like Muslims. Um, but, uh, you know, Google it or just buy you a um, biblical concordance. They call it, you know, a concordance of the Bible. And then look up these names and you'll see all of these stories. I'm not going to give you too much, man. You know, any, any good teacher is going to always give you homework. And don't think I'm going to be any different, even though I hate homework myself. The story of Lot, or Lut alayhi salam, about Sodom and Gomorrah, that Allah destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for the sins of homosexuality, etc., etc., etc. There's another story about Lot that's not prestigious, and for the sake of the fact that we have little children here, I have to tone the stories down, because they're not PG. They're not PG-13. And honestly, for me to tell you these stories explicitly, I would need for you to show me some ID. Um, in the Bible, Lot was an old man who had no son. And so his daughters were concerned that he would have no lineage, that their father would die without an heir, a parent, and no lineage. So they decided to fix the problem. The way they decided to fix the problem was they got him intoxicated. And the oldest daughter slept with him. And so she could become pregnant by him. And the next night they got him intoxicated. And the youngest daughter slept with him. So that she could become pregnant by him. So that he, they, one of them might have a son to carry on his lineage. This is in the Bible. This is in the Bible, but a lot more explicit. A lot more explicit. This is the lot of the Old Testament. He was someone who committed incest. Na'udhu billah. So now I'm like, wow, you know, it's getting worse by the Prophet. So I'm really intrigued now by these Prophets. These Prophets, are, I mean, these are characters for sure. So I continue to read and I find many other things, but I'm, the, the two I...